What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the winter season of series number four. Today, driving around in our 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS that we unlocked in the last video. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. But today we're going to be continuing on with the next seasonal championship. And the one that we're going to take care of in this video is going to be the All-Star Style to get that 2017 Ford GT. So this is the Street Racing Seasonal Championship. So we're going to be picking one, well not one, I'm going to be picking three of these cars to use out on the road. So I've already got three of them set up. We're going to go ahead and jump into it and get it started. All right, so up on the screen now will be a photo of the first car we're going to be checking out. This is the 2016 BMW M2 Coupe that we unlocked last season. The share code for the tune along with the tuner's name and name of the tune will be up on the screen now if you want to check it out. But we're going to go ahead and jump in, see what these races look like, and get this championship underway. Actually, it's a street racing championship. They should all be sprint races, so... Good deal. And here we go with our first one at the Guanajuato Sur. And let's see what we can do here. So we just did the cross country championship in our last video. I'm glad that that one's over with and that we're going to be racing on roads for these next two. Come on, let's go. Up on the inside, there we go. Push the Supra a little bit, that's okay. Push the other Supra just a bit, that's okay. It's got a little bit of understeer, I can already feel that, but it's not terrible, so. Um, and now we've just got a Diablo in front of us. Okay, it's got a lot of understeer, but again, kind of get used to it after a second or so. Um, so something else to note as we're going through the city of Guanajuato is I'm going to be using three different cars in this championship. And that is merely for the fact to provide some extra content for you guys. You guys can pick one car and use it for all three of the races if you want. I merely use three just to be able to provide extra options, options to you guys that can be used and, you know, kind of give some feedback on tunes on those vehicles. So. Um, you know, don't waste your money buying three different cars because, again, you don't have to do that. This is more of just a try, me trying to help out and provide some extra content. So, uh, but we're up in the first and looking good. Another thing to note is sometimes share codes do change on these cars for the tunes. Um, I think if a tuner updates the tune, meaning they go in and mess with any of the settings, it will change the share code, I believe. Also, if they delete the tune, guess, I mean, the share code is not the same, obviously. That's why I provide the tuner's name as well as the name of the tune, um, so you can search from that if you cannot find it from the share code. When you are using the share code, make sure you're not putting spaces in it. Um, I do that in the format just to... Um, you know, make it a little easier to read for you guys. Don't put spaces into it. It will not find it if you try to put spaces in there. So just a little little notes there um, as we're going through this first race. This BMW is actually pretty good. Once you get out into the open, um, it just kind of goes. Definitely a good tune in my eyes. If you did get this car in last season as the reward, I would definitely use it. Um, some people had mentioned that, you know, my street races never seem to have cars in them, and I'm really not sure why that is. Sometimes they do, but like this one, I haven't seen a single pedestrian car. Um, ooh, that's not a great way to uh, finish out that turn, but luckily we were far enough ahead that the Drivatars weren't able to catch up. But yeah, I'm not really sure why I don't have any, like, pedestrian vehicles in that. It has to just kind of be luck of the draw, I'd imagine, so. First place there on the first race, though. Um, something important about the championships is they are not individually races-based, um, if that makes sense. You do not have to come in first in all three of these races. You can see I got 20 points for coming in first, so that is what is important. You need to be in first place 
and points at the end of the three races to win the championship. So if I hit continue, this is the championship leaderboard. This is where you need to be in first place at the end of the three races. So we'll take a better look at that after the second race, but let's go ahead and jump into another vehicle and we'll get that second race started. All right, so this is the next car that we're gonna be using. This is the 2012 Lotus Exige S. The sheer code for the tune, along again with the tuner's name and name of the tune will be up on the screen now if you wanna check it out as well. Um, this thing has done well for us on dirt racing, which it's not really made for. So I'm assuming it's gonna do pretty well for us on the road. So let's go ahead and jump into this next race and get it going. All right. Here we go, Bascu del Sur is our next race. And we'll see what this Lotus can do on road. Again, we've used it plenty of times in seasonal championships off road. So I imagine that it's gonna do pretty good in its environment that it's supposed to be in and not, you know, off road like we usually force it to do. I'm just gonna push that other Lotus kind of through uh, the guardrail there. It does have a little bit of understeer, I'm already feeling that. We are using all-wheel drive. Anytime we do these championships, if there's not a restriction against all-wheel drive, the tunes will be all-wheel drive, just because that's the most efficient way um, to do these easily is with all-wheel drive. So, um, yeah. Up on the inside of one Hillcat, we're gonna squeeze by the other one. Ooh, we need to get on the brakes. Luckily, this thing is light as a feather compared to especially that Challenger back there. So we could definitely get on the brakes a lot later than he did. So up into first though, with just a little bit over of a quarter of the race out or done, looking good. So I think what I'll do just to, you know, keep this video from being um, longer than it really needs to be is I'm just gonna kind of skip towards the end of the race unless anything interesting happens. And I'll see you guys here in just a second. Actually, scratch that. I'm just going to mute my uh, microphone, rather. Or just pull down my audio so you guys can at least see the race. Um, that's something I wanted to get some feedback on is do you guys care if I jump towards the end of the race on these sprint races, or would you rather see the course um, in its entirety? So if I just pull down the volume, turn up the, or pull down my volume rather, and pull or turn up the car volume, you can listen to the car a bit. You can see the course, you know, kind of know what to expect when you get into it. Or, you know, would you rather me just kind of keep the video shorter? Let me know down in the comments below which you know, format you'd prefer. I'm definitely interested in, you know, whatever the majority is. We may still just mix it up a little bit, uh, but definitely let me know. So I'll just pull down my audio and let you guys listen to the car for the remaining, you know, 25 or so percent. I I As I run off the road. finish line so cross the line with quite a big lead yet again so Lotus stretched it out and did pretty good so but taking a look at the leaderboard again so we got 20 more points for coming in first on that race so we are up to 40 in total on the championship so we're gonna jump into our last car and jump into that last race all right, so here is the last car we're gonna be checking out. This is the 2020 Toyota GR Supra and the share code for the tune along with the tuner's name will be up on the screen now, as well as the name of the tune. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into this last race and it is Coast Run. All right, here we go. As I said, Coast Run. And let's get it going in our Supra.
Off we go. So, I don't. I noticed something when I was recording the last video where my OBS was saying that there was an in encoder overload. Um, and I've never had that issue on Forza Horizon 5 on my setup. And so, just kind of noticing that Forza will look a little choppy as well. So, I like turned down my settings a little bit just to see if that helped with the encoder settings. Okay, guy. I just got ran off the road by that Hellcat. You're not a Mustang, come on. And I'm not a pedestrian, I guess. So, um, but nonetheless. I, had to tur I turned down my, like, visual settings to high on here, so the video, like, you know, may not look as super duper great. Um, as compared to, you know, not that it, I play in 4K or anything, I play in 1080, and usually I play on Ultra, but. I turned it down and it seems to have fixed the encoding issue, but I've never had that before. And even like turning it down, like the loading menus are a little, like where it rotates your car around, it's still a little choppy and I'm not really sure why. I know they put out a hotfix yesterday, I think. So I don't know if they've done something, fixed another issue, but caused another one. Um, so I'm going to try to mess around with that a little bit after this championship and hopefully the next video will look, you know, somewhat normal if I can get that error to not pop up on OBS, but just something to note. Um, definitely let me know down below if you've run into issues like that as well today um, or since that potential hotfix. I'm not sure, you know, if it's related to that or, you know, hopefully my graphics card isn't just kind of crapping out on me, but... I did just get another laptop to try to do some editing on to get these videos out a little faster. And that laptop's actually pretty well specced and probably, well, it's not probably, it could handle, you know, running Horizon 5 very well. It actually ran it a lot better than my current setup, my desktop, but um, I want to use it just for editing unless I absolutely have to. So, um,. You know, if worse comes to worse, I still have that to fall back on for the time being, but hopefully it's just kind of something that gets addressed and it's not something major, but we kind of talked through that entire race, and the Supra did pretty well. Um, to, you know, be something, you know, some everybody had that car at one point. It's relatively cheap from the shop, so it's a good option if you don't. Um, have any of the other cars and I really didn't feel any understeer on that one compared to the other two so first place finish we got 20 more points that gets a 60 in total on the championship gets us the win on the race and the 2017 Ford GT for completing the championship all right so there we go that is the all-star style seasonal championship here in the winter season of series number four and how you can unlock a free 2017 ford gt in horizon 5 so i hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful if you did either definitely leave a like on the video definitely get subscribed for future forza horizon 5 content just like this but other than that i do hope you have a great rest of your day and we will see you in the next video